Hi there. My name's Neil Kent. I'm the director of events for the Drupal Association. My name is Ben Jevons, local team lead. So. Really happy to have you guys here with us. Thanks for sticking it out to the end. Yeah. Uh, so just a quick reminder, if you haven't filled out session evaluations for all the great sessions that we had at DrupalCon, please do so. It's really helpful. There will also be a overall conference survey that will be available on the website. Uh, there'll probably be uh, an email that goes out about that later this week. So how many of you folks, how many is this your first DrupalCon? <laughs> wow, that's, that's fantastic. That's great. All right, so uh, here's what we do in our closing sessions is uh, we have a few announcements for you. We have uh, some fun facts to share. Uh, all sorts of cool stuff goes on. Um, and uh, everybody, I think, pretty well knows that our next event coming up in August is going to be in Munich. And uh, very cool. Um, we've uh, made some pretty good progress on the show, and there's a few people I'd like to uh, bring out to give you an update on what's happening. So in just a second, let's go ahead and bring out uh, Karsten and Florian. Hello, Hello DrupalCon! Hello, Denver. So, we're having a fantastic conference here in Denver, but the fun is not over yet. And in less than six months, the fun will continue, the adventure will continue in Munich, Germany. Well, the theme of the next conference will be open up, interconnecting people. And for us, it means think outside of our box, think beyond Drupal. What are the people doing and using out there every day? And how can we make them interconnect with us, Drupal community? So back in London, I told you that we would have some secret keynote speakers to announce. <laughs> and today, is the moment that we are going to announce that the first keynote speaker for Drupal. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Uh, sorry. Yes. The first keynote speaker of the first day of DrupalCon Munich will be Dries, and he'll be telling us everything about Drupal 8 and the progress that we are making in turning this into the best version of Drupal that has been ever made. And we got even more. We got Anke Domscheid back. She's a very famous business leader in Germany, and she will talk to us about um, open government and women in business leadership positions. On the third day, we will have Fabien Potentier, the creator of the Symfony framework, and he'll be telling us what it means for Drupal to be integrating parts of the Symfony, uh, of Symfony components into Drupal. What we got even more? Just look at the slide. We got so many tracks and so many cool people there, even fresh faces. So you just have to come around and see all of this awesome stuff. So we've been pretty active over the past couple of months, especially the past couple of weeks, to get everything ready to, well, all the things that need to be ready for today. Well, we got a city, Munich. Jack? We got an even bigger venue for that you can all come to us. Jack? We got a grand team and they are even here with us now. <laughs> we got great speakers. Jack? We got a lot of great sponsors already. Actually, we've had a lot of sponsors very quickly, and we're almost running out of sponsorship opportunities, and we're putting a lot of work on Megan from the Drupal Association to create new sponsorship opportunities, because we want to, well, to help all these companies who want to 
support the Drupal community and the DrupalCon event. If you want to get your logo on this slide, get in touch with Megan. Yeah, we got a lot of very cool marketing materials. So, well, guys, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, we have in the exit some more of those, so don't be afraid you won't get some. <laughs> Woo! So we've gotten a lot of things done, but uh, we're not completely done. There's still a couple of things that we need to, to do before August. But first of all, we need attendees. We need you, we need all of you, to come to Munich. And we need speakers. This is an awesome opportunity for all of you to share your experience and just go to the, web, go to the website and sign up there. If you've got a good idea for a session, just please share it with us. As usual, before the conference, we're going to have a pre-conference training day. I know that there's many of you in this audience that give professional training. If you want to give a training at DrupalCon Munich, submit the form on the website and we'll get in touch with you. Yeah, and we need even need more attendees. See, this was London and it was just totally crowded and it was so cool, so many people being there. So the next venue will be even bigger and we want it to be as cool as London. So please come around, we need attendees, we need all of you. And finally, well, how are we going to get all these attendees? Well, we want to grow the community, and to do so, we need your help. So tweet about it on Twitter, write about it on Facebook, just use those coasters that you get, just spread them around, spread the word. Woo. So don't hesitate, the registration is open now, which is really great. Now go to the website and sign on, we really want to see you there. It's in Germany, it's great, it's Munich, just be part of our community. Come to Munich, please. Thank you, and we'll see you in Munich. Yeah, see you there, thanks a lot, bye. Thanks you guys. Florian and Karsten, the Germany team, you guys are great. Thanks so much. Really looking forward to Munich. It's going to be really cool. Um, there is uh, something else that's coming up that I don't think anybody's aware of just yet. And uh, I do have a couple of other friends uh, to bring out and uh, make a very special announcement. Uh, I think right now they're probably getting mic'd up. Um, so I'd asked the question uh, before about how many people this is your first DrupalCon. How many people this is your second DrupalCon? Any three-timers? Beautiful. Um, okay, well, hey. Hi, how are you doing? How's it going? Fine. Hello, Neil. Nice surprise. Uh, I'd like to introduce to you my friend Fernando and Fabiano, uh, who have a very special announcement for you. Boa tarde a todos. Eu estou aqui para convidar vocês para DrupalCon São Paulo 2012. Buenas tardes a todos. Buenas tardes a todos. Estamos aquí para invitarlos a Drupalcon Sao Paulo 2012. Welcome everybody. We are here to invite you all to Drupalcon Sao Paulo 2012. It is the first Drupalcon in Latin America ever. It will take place in Sao Paulo, a vibrant city home to 20 million people and the world's third largest city. Brazil is a booming economy and now is the thickest sixth economy in the world and has 46 million internet users and established Drupal community. That's big, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and there is potential for even more growth of the Drupal community in the global market. And Latin America is, is huge. And, and even in Brazil, will allow lots of new people to experience the power of our community. And the best part is, 
it's going to take place on December 6th to 8th. December, it's summer in Brazil. <laughs> so you guys may stay here in the north freezing or head south and enjoy Brazilians' perfect summer with your fellow Drupalistas. We hope to see everyone there. Nos vemos en São Paulo. Estamos esperando vocês em São Paulo. Thanks, you guys. Who's excited for São Paulo? Yeah. So we have one more announcement, sort of a ta uh, passing of the torch. So I'd like to bring out the organizers for the next North American DrupalCon 2013. I'm Amy Scavarda. And I'm Chris Bloom. And for those of you that already know us, you kind of know where this one is going. That's right. We're going to tell you where you're going in 2013 for the next, sorry, 2014 for the next 13. North America, <laughs> 2013 for the, <laughs> for the next North America DrupalCon. But first, we'd like to tell you a little bit about our city, accompanied by the theme music we've brought with us. Thank you, Kazuani. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm totally pumped right now. It was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> in 2013, DrupalCon will be held in a beautiful city with no sales tax, a ton of bridges, and more breweries inside the city limit of any city in North America. But for some reason, it's illegal to pump your own gas there. It's a city with more hipsters per square foot than a Panic at the Disco concert on a two-for-one Pabst night. It's a city so hip, you've probably never heard of it. It's a city that sits at the confluence of the majestic Willamette River, the powerful Columbia River, and a clown college. That's right. If you somehow didn't know already, in 2013, you're, you're going, going to, to Portland, Portland, Oregon. Oregon. <laughs> Portland has a strong and varied open source history, from OSCON to Open Source Bridge to Linus Torvalds. We're a big part of the Silicon Forest. What's more important is that Portland loves Drupal and beer and Drupal and beer at the same time a lot. <laughs> We've got a fanatically active community. We have three different user group meetings that meet every single month and, and at least a couple hundred active users. Um, recently, the Drupal Association actually moved into town and we couldn't be prouder. In my opinion, Portland holds some of the best uh, Drupal people and companies in the entire, in the entire country. So it'll be our pleasure in May 2013 to welcome you to the beautiful city of Portland, Oregon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris and Amy. All right. Okay, so we're gonna just take a little bit and talk a little bit about our process and for, for DrupalCon Denver and say thanks to a lot of the people that helped make this happen. So hopefully you noticed the amazing conference design, uh, the great beautiful website. Uh, the website was actually nominated for our Web Fonts Award, so we're very thankful for that. Uh, yeah. A big shout out to Ken Woodworth and Atten Design Group for their help there. We also uh, made, made some press with this event. We were in Fast Company's top events for March, one of the must-attend events. And it's a little bit hard to see there, but we were pretty high on edu education, uh, so the learnability, how valuable this conference is to learn something from it. I hope you all agree. 
Uh, also, drinkability, we, we scored pretty good. Sounds like we, we might be better in Portland. And Munich, for sure, too. Uh, we also made some of the local press. So this is uh, Jeff Walpole from Phase 2 Design talking to, uh, excuse me, Phase 2 Technology talking to uh, Nine News. And uh, I found it a little interesting that coding nerds unite, because we're a pretty wide uh, and diverse community. We're not all coders. They just don't get us quite. So. All right. So um, we'll talk a little bit about uh, some of the statistics from this conference. Um, in uh, San Francisco, we had uh, just over 3,000 uh, registrations. In um, Chicago, we had 2,881 registrations. Today, you guys are sitting at the largest DrupalCon in history with 3,081 registrants from over 47 countries. So thanks, you guys, for making that happen. Um, that's really cool, and I'm really, really proud. Um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the revenue and some of the expenses. So how did we do it? Um, what did we raise, and where did it all go? So uh, we have some... So just a tremendous sponsor community out here. Uh, there was, I, I think, about 60 or 70 different sponsors, um, all of them contributing in different ways. And the thing that's really important about them is we offer about a $1,400 conference for somewhere between $350 and $450 per person. And the way we do that is through the help of our sponsors, and we thank every last one of them. There's just too many of them for me to put up on a screen right now, uh, but I hope that you met them in the uh, exhibit hall and certainly, we all thank them very, very much for making it possible to be here. So thank you, guys. So the numbers that we'll talk about, um, these are preliminary numbers. Please forgive us a couple of percentage points as we're waiting for invoices to come in and uh, final, uh, final numbers to come in from accounting systems. But sponsorship revenue was $452,200. Great. Ticket sales, you guys coming in for a DrupalCon, uh, a few people from our CXO event, another uh, $894,325. Phenomenal. And uh, $41,000 worth of ticket sales to help pay for that great uh, party over at City Hall. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we had an open bar for three hours, a uh, cash bar for the last portion of it. We had uh, DJ J from Acquia spinning for us all night. That guy was up there over five hours, never took a bathroom break. Don't know how he did it. <laughs> it was really cool. That was a lot of fun. So our total revenue for this event uh, was approximately $1,542,640,000. Thank you all. All right. So we made all this money. Where'd it go is uh, one of the ever popular questions. So first of all, um, the venue that we're at today, the Colorado Convention Center, uh, $85,912 to rent this facility. Uh, it's a lot of money, but it was a lot of space, and this was one of the best venues, I can honestly say, that we've worked in as a DrupalCon. So very cool to them, and thank you very much. Um, let's see. Our partner here, Arlena McDaniel, uh, I think she had to run out and pick up a kid or something like that, but I wish she was here because she made life so easy for us. Uh, our AV partners, um, uh, $68,140 for these great screens, projectors, all the AV in the breakout rooms. Catering, um, $382,000 uh, and a little bit higher because today, uh, when we plan a conference, we know that we have X number of people that register. Five or so percent won't show up the first day. We'll get 10% that'll leave the second day, so on and so forth. You guys stuck around. Um, so we were a little bit short on lunches today. We apologize to the last 100 people that had to wait a little extra. Uh, but our approximate uh, catering bill, about 382 maybe $500, a little bit more. Graphics and signage, uh, in a little bit, you guys will meet Ken Woodworth, who did just such a beautiful, amazing job on all the signage around. Uh, we love him for it. He put in so much time. Um, so we designed this great signage, and we had a few different partners to print it. Uh, so uh, about $29,000 or so. Security, temps, the coat check. I didn't know anybody would use a coat check uh, because it's Denver in March and, you know, everybody would be cold. No idea it would be 70 degrees. Um, but that was fun. Uh, six, uh, almost $9,000. Speakers. Um, we, there are a couple of speakers that we work with uh, that do get compensated. About $6,500, including the travel and expense. Uh, really, really reasonable. Registrations materials, the t-shirts, the toe shirts, uh, the badge lids, the value add booklets, um, excuse me, 32,000. 
uh, our trainings, the uh, trainings that take place on Monday, the approximate cost before the speaker compensation is about $66,000. And uh, some of the speakers get compensated differently. We don't have those numbers just yet. We saw some tabula tabulations to do. Uh, scholarships, one of the things that DrupalCon is incredibly proud of is there are some really great people that we need at a DrupalCon and they just can't foot their own bill, they need some help. So the association pitches in and uh, this year our scholarship program to get about uh, 20 people or so here was about $20,000. Uh, the city hall party that I mentioned to you before, $65,000. Conference planning and production, about $65,000. Uh, merchant registration fees, credit card fees, that type of thing, uh, that's a nice little chunk of about 32. Uh, travel for the staff and uh, miscellaneous folks, uh, about 35,000. Uh, the association works on this event all year round, and we have offices, we have electricity, we have computer fees, we have all sorts of different things. Uh, the overhead for the association, about 272,000, and our total expenditures would be about 1.2 million. Thanks, man. So, total revenue, 1.5, total expenses, 1.2. We have generated $333,000 that we can put back to the community, and we thank you all once again. We also drank a lot of coffee. Indeed we did. So, so this is uh, what we ordered, I believe. Uh, so 9,040 cups of coffee, roughly 565 gallons. So we actually had uh, originally some coffee planned in the afternoon, but we worked, uh, Jason Eve from, from our community worked with the uh, caterer to kind of move around a little bit to try to make lunch a little bit better. So I hope that you all enjoy the food. So our Wi-Fi usage, on Tuesday, there were about uh, 2,900 consecutive users connected to the Wi-Fi. And that bandwidth on that day, uh, we peaked around the average of 103 megabits, so pretty, pretty high. On Tuesday, we had about 2,100 connected, that's evening on Wednesday, and uh, actually broke that 103, we got to 107 megabits, average transfer. And then today, until about noon, 2,000, so we, we've kept about a lot of people connected and, and online and uh, did 102 megabits. Oh, and uh, one note sort of about the design and the conference center and all of that in regards to our environmental and social light impact. So the food, uh, all the food that was left over was donated to a program called uh, We Don't Waste, which donates to lo local charities to make sure that that food gets out to, to people that can use it. Uh, leftover materials were donated. Uh, also, all of the signage that was produced is 100% biodegradable. So we're really happy about that. And I believe it's, um, uh, from what I've heard, a part of the Drupal Association's initiative to help uh, create more of an environmentally um, sound impact with these events. So look for more, uh, more information on that and more, more progress. So uh, one last note on the environmental uh, impact. Uh, we have a particular partner, our, a production company we work with called Groundswell Marketing and a lady named Diana Connolly. Um, Diana's actually, uh, right now, uh, she's back in college getting a master's degree in environmental studies. This is a true passion for her. And my job is to watch budgets, and her job is to watch out for the earth and make sure that our, uh, uh, our conference runs as smoothly as possible. So um, although I uh, give Diana a bit of a hard time, I, I do want to thank her very much for making sure that we do keep down that path. So Diana, wherever you are, thank you again for making sure that we are socially responsible. All right. So, um, I would mentioned that we had about 60 sponsors and the importance of our sponsors was uh, that they made this conference a cost-effective event. They support our community, uh, they support our platform. Um, we really, we just can't thank them enough and if we could just one more quick round of applause for those guys. Thank you also to the Colorado Convention Center and all of the crew and staff here that has helped make this happen. Very much appreciated. All right, so I mentioned Groundswell Marketing, Diana Connolly, thank you so very much. We had a many, great many uh, wonderful partners here. Uh, the Colorado Convention Center, as I said, um, it wasn't cheap, but uh, we definitely got our money's worth from them. They were really fantastic. The Hyatt Hotels, we had our 24 hour coder lounge, a uh, great many sleeping rooms, they put up with us at the bar. Um, Smart City, the internet providers, if you'll remember, we had a couple of stats here. Um, not one day were we under 100 megabits. 
Um, we got off to a little bit of a rough start, as uh, Drupal cons tend to do, because nobody takes seriously when we tell them how much bandwidth we use. But if you look at it, you know, we asked for 100 megabits, and we had 102 megabits, 103 megabits, 107 megabits. Uh, and there is a really nice lady named Debbie Olivius. Um, Debbie, I think, worked about 48 hours between Monday and Tuesday um, to make sure that we were up and running and smooth on Wednesday and Thursday. So Debbie, wherever you are, my apologies to your children. <laughs> you did a great job. Uh, center plate, our caterer, as far as a convention center goes, this kicked uh, but over uh, the uh, Moscone Center in San Francisco, the food here was pretty darn delicious. And uh, also uh, the Denver community as well for myself. Um, I work for the association, I get paid. Um, I worked with people like Ben and uh, a bunch of other folks that we'll introduce you to in just a bit. You guys are just amazing and thank you so very, very much. So we'd also like to thank our keynote speakers. So thank you, Dries, for coming out. Also very happy to have Mitchell Bader speaking on Wednesday. Hope you all really enjoyed that keynote. So thank you, Mitchell. And how about Luke this morning? I hope that was wonderful. Thank you, Luke, for coming out. And also thanks to the Drupal Association for their support and uh, really making this happen. So, I mean, it's a lot of volunteers that, that go into this, but it's uh, people like Neil and, and the rest of the Drupal Association staff that, uh, that have direction and have like drive to make this happen and it's very much appreciated. So thank you, Drupal Association. Thanks, Ben. So speaking of the association, um, you know, we've gone through some changes and some growth and uh, we have this really uh, great group of people um, a uh, really great group of people that are working with us in the association, and I'd like to introduce those folks now. So, um, are any of my partners back there? Neil Drum, our systems manager, thank you. Chris Klinkhardt, our office manager. Liz Trudeau, our data wrangler. My new partner, Stephanie, Stephanie L. Hodge. Marta Betts, our marketing manager. And I think you all probably know Jacob Redding, our executive director. Thanks, guys. Why don't you guys stay up here for just a moment? And uh, there's a few other folks. I'd mentioned that we have this local community that was really just tremendous. Uh, there are some local volunteers that we'd like to bring out and introduce you to. I can't do it all by name, but you can see them up on the screen. Hey, you guys, why don't you come on out? We had about 40 volunteers organizing since October 2010, so big round of applause to all of these folks as well. So, uh, like I said, um, I get paid, these guys don't. And many of them put hundreds and hundreds of hours in. Um, I write these roles and responsibility uh, pages uh, for people who want to volunteer, and I lie like a rug about how much time you'll spend doing this, but by that time, they're already invested, so they stick around. But would you all say it was fun? Yeah. Would you all say that it was worth it? <clears throat> Would you all say it was yeah. worth it? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So uh, it really is fun, and it's uh, really rewarding. And the last month you think, I hate this, and then you're on site, and just the adrenaline just keeps you going, and you're, you're really, really proud of what you've done. I think any of these people will tell you. If uh, you would like to volunteer for a DrupalCon that we have in an upcoming city, just go to the website, click on the uh, link, and submit your information. What would you like to do and what makes you good at it? And we'd love to have you as a part of us. So with that being said, um, I'd like to thank all of you folks. I'd like to thank all of you folks for coming to DrupalCon, making it the biggest ever. Uh, tonight, we've got some trivia. Tomorrow, if you want to contribute back to the project, we've got the code sprint going on. 
I think everybody here has been just fantastic. I really love doing this show. I'm very, very proud. I thank you, and I think it's time for a beer. Well, thanks very much.